Hello and welcome to another edition of the world's favourite show for racing, right across the board, all three codes. Burning questions, and we have a very special guest. Whether the internet will hold up, we don't know. It actually looked like just before we started, we need to pull the plugs. She sort of <laughs> went down and I, I thought she was activating the gear. How are you, Anita? Well, thanks, Jason. Now, just to let you know, this show can get um, quite adversarial and uh, Andy might try and uh, instruct you with things because that's what he does with everybody, right? But I, I, And I'm normally hardcore at the start, but I just want to tell you, Juanita, I know you don't love doing this. And the fact that you're willing to do it, we very much appreciate it, okay? But, but you're going to cop some – you might cop something, okay? So I'm just warning you. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, Snoozer, how are you, my friend? You live in your car, I've never, I've never seen your house. I've never seen you in a house. Are you living in the car? And if, they, if you are, that's okay. That's fine. You seem to be going really well, which would make me think you should have a house, but you're in the car again. No, I've got a little house with uh, Elizabeth and Estella in it at the moment, so I get up there at some stage and say hello. What he's saying is there is a house, but they live in the house and he lives in the car. Andy. How are you, my friend? Is that it? Is EA7 a designer outfit or not? Um, oh, yeah, it's buddy. Giorgio Armani. Yeah, I'd like to thank the sponsors. Do, do, Juanita, do you have these designer brands as well or not? Uh, not at the moment. <laughs> Hopefully, Raw for Oscar can help with that. Anyway, first question of the burning questions. Four on today's show. Will Stride make hay while Queen's at rest, or is the stamper better at his best? I can't believe, Andy, the difference between their prices, given I know Ultimate Stride has beaten Queen Elida, but I really rate Gravax for and that generation from last season. And I reckon Harry Stamper can step up, and I'm not saying he'll beat Queen Elida, but I reckon they should be close with the prices. Yeah, there's no doubt. I think he's going to find the top Harry Stamper, which means Ultimate Stride's going to have to sit outside him and beat him in a pretty fast run mile rate. Third run back from a spell. Um, he'll be super, he'll be a lot fitter. Uh, very season Ultimate Stride and racing in career best form. But yeah, I was a bit surprised how short he was Ultimate Stride and how big odds uh, Harry Stamper opened up. But I think they'll get a lot closer before the race starts. Who wins? I still go with Ultimate Stride. I just think a little bit more seasoning, but I don't think there'll be much in it. Snooze is like still, still under the uh, spell of Chris Lang, isn't it? He'll just declare Ultimate Stride. Then he'll say, Curry Stride runs second and Bullion Harry third. Snoozer, thoughts, please? Uh, not exactly, Ben. I thought Ultimate Stride probably fitter and um, more seasoned at this stage than Harry Stamper. Harry Stamper was a lot better last time. Yeah, he's going to have to improve a fair bit of the beat. Ultimate stride. We're blaming you for the pro this time, Snooze. We're blaming you. Uh, stop leaving me in your car. Go back in the house. It's okay. it's okay to be in the house with your wife and child. Hey, Juanita, what are you reckon? Ultimate stride's the one to beat. Chris Lane's got three of the seven runners, I reckon, in that race. But I think Harry Sanders is very good and might be ready to improve third up. Give us your thoughts. Uh, no, I would have been stride for me. Um, and I think probably Bullion Harry, I like as a, as a good place chance, but it should be a really good race. I'm with Ultimate Stride as well, but I'll back Bullion. Um, Harry Stanford, 5 or $6, please. Ridiculous price. We are sponsored by a few wonderful advocates for the industry and for burning questions. They want to be involved with the show. Belvo Fruits is the first. They grow top quality table grapes. Top, like the kind of table grapes you can't get anywhere else. They're on the farms of Wiener and Liberoo and working very closely together with Premier Farms Australia, whoever they are, but God bless them. They're doing a great job, I'm told. These table grapes are delivered to the customers all over the world. If you're in Monaco, if you're in Luxembourg, if you're in Belize, a landlocked country, you can get these grapes. Remember, everyone, any grapes is good for you. Juanita, we have to go to you for your favourite fruit. What is it? My favourite one? Fruit. What is it? 
know that I've got a favourite. Do you eat fruit? I'll eat, eat a lot of fruit. Um, oh, so, yeah. so it's, not, it's not that you eat no fruit, it's that it's it's such an incredibly strong feel that you don't know whether you go with pears or peaches or mandarins or bananas. Oh, no, not bananas. <laughs> okay. My favourite fruit. So we come on, separate them. Photo finish. Tight. Dan like you would call this correctly. What's your favourite fruit? What do we need one? Oh, probably a strawberry. What a big strawberry man. Do you have some room or not? No. I thought we got a long one, Peter. I, I like out of your horses, and I'm a big fan of Royal Roscoe, but we've all of a sudden things are sort of breaking down there a little bit for some reason. Number two question is Downing Gray does isolate assert his early pace, and if he does, will that decide the winner of said race? Lose for Nozio. I reckon we don't have the stats, but better isolate may have run the fastest last half in the history of Melton Park, formerly known as Tadcourt Park Mountain. Will he run the gate here and find the front? And even if he doesn't, have we got any chance of beating him? How good is this? Where's the gold? Where's the gold? Is he good enough to beat it? Uh, yeah, I don't know if I don't think it's they are quick enough to beat it. I uh, think anything could have finished up any faster than in the three better possible. So if he goes forward, he probably finds the front and he'll be very hard to beat. Do you reckon Matty will press the button this week? Uh, I think he'll be uh, looking to give him a good hit out. So uh, I think he might. He might. He's going to Queensland. You've been begging, you've been begging for advocation to go to Queensland or something. Oh, it's, um, it's going to be a fun trip. Juanita, your thoughts here. Better ice lake was amazing. First up from a couple of months off the scene. Does it just win the first look at the quality or are they dangerous? Just where's the gold? I don't know how you run. It's a Tasmanian form. Yeah, I, I like Cobbler as a bigger danger than where's the gold, I think. Um, but I think better isolates probably a few fit probably. Cobbler is your bigger danger. That's Jeff Webster on the phone. You know that. <laughs> Hi, Jeff. Hi, Jeff. No, I've just hit Cobbler like you told me to. It's fine. Yep. I've just got to finish this off, Jeff, okay? I'll talk to you in a minute. Bye, mate. Um, Andy, thoughts, please. Better ice lab. He's $1.90. I marked it $1.60 and thought I was being generous. Yeah, obviously, um, he was terrific last start. It was off a slow speed, and the last half was really quick. Um, and it was only 0.1 quicker than what Tango Tower ran last week, to be honest, and he was off the track doing it, and, and not at any stage it looked like he was going to win. So... As quick as it was, um, yeah, he, he's only had the 16 starts. He's a quality horse. We all know he's going to get the free for all level and uh, be one of the top horses going forward. So it's not a give me race. I think it's a little bit different when you go forward rather than just sitting back doing nothing. So definitely the one to beat. I think a dollar ninety is correct price and dollar sixty is unders. So you're basically saying on ability going forward, there's nothing between Tango Tara and Better Ice Road. That's what that's what I heard. That's what I got from. Him. No, I think people were getting carried away with his last half last time off a slow speed. But I, I, but I think, yeah, I, I really rate the horse. I think he's going to be a terrific horse going forward. Who's your biggest danger here? My barrier draw. Oh, my horse or? Well, I'm not. I'm not I, I don't think. Yeah. It, I don't think Ian Buckingham can win because I'm not being bad, but the way Kate talks about Ian Buckingham in post race interviews. I think she dislikes the horse. He's she likes his tender brother. Will, it, will he be in the breeze? I'd say so. You know, he'll come out pretty quick. We'll have a little crack for the leap. Who was the one who first told you that Ian Bucky and had a bit of early gate speed? Um, Rob Orber, I think. I don't look like Rob Orber, do I? <laughs> it was me. It was me. It actually didn't work out, but they nearly got across in a good race. All right. Uh, Soul Gear, there's also a sponsor. Can't believe you said Rob Orber. That's not what it's about. It, it, we can have bands, but I, I think I think flat-out lying is a bit ridiculous, to be honest. Um, combining the power of results and horse sectionals, 
which sometimes can be overrated, apparently, according to Bill Rossler. And I agree sometimes. With Sulky out, you do have access to gate speed, super ability, and behavior rating. Never miss a trade of driver or gear change again. I don't know if gear change is enough. Sulky app is a form guide revolution. Sign up at sulky.app. I'm hoping that becomes free soon rather than a subservice. Right, question three. Juanita, this is your time to shine. Are you ready? Okay. Do you want to have another sip of your water? Fine, with thanks. one run, with one, one run behind him, will Raw overcome his draw, or could he be quite vulnerable if there's no early war? Now, I love this horse, and I reckon he's got the versatility. I mean, it was a brilliant try last start for me. You said, kind of thought we might go back, and then we rolled forward when you realised there was no early speed. If they're doing nothing here, I think he's good enough to make a mid-race move, and if there's fireworks here, he can come with one run. Am I overrating you? I want you to get real confident because you were pretty good in your pre-race interview on Trots Vision last week. Get arrogant. Just say we'll win from anywhere. Yeah, I don't don't do arrogance, but uh, I think you've summed it up. If, if there's a pre-race war, then yes, you will come with one run. Um, but it's just going to be tempo-based, the decision. You basically... I've, I've put the pressure on you in the form tournament. You basically have to keep winning these races because... I mean, you say you don't do arrogance, but in the post-race interview on Trump's vision, snoozer and Andy, this woman was basically saying, who's going to give me a eureka spot? It wasn't who's quite out there? Who's out there? Who wants to bid for me? But you, you, you probably do need to keep winning these races to, to build the momentum, don't you? Definitely, definitely. Um, now, ideally, we would have had him back probably a month ago um, and maybe been able to show him off a little bit earlier. I, I think that if he gets the right trip, he can, he can go close to Maroon Island. Is he miles away the best horse you've ever trained? Um, I think eventually he will be. Um, I think I've had a, a couple of others that are probably close to improbability but didn't stay together. I love the idea that one eight of Snoods is going to Rock Rock and going, You're good, mate, but we've had a couple of bear at you. You gotta keep them. You're not the best yet, mate. Not the best yet. Um, Snoozer, your thoughts. Wide second line draw, never easy to overcome, class runner. Does Raw for Ross go just win or have you got a couple to beat it? Uh, I don't think he's just win from Barry eleven. Terrific last week. As long as it's kept come on, you know, stand up. Good enough to do some work, and when we can put him into the work at the right time, he should be able to get the job done. So the, also, so is that, since you've procreated, have you like have your have your testosterone levels risen? Because you seem to be driving more aggressively than ever. Have you had a test? Have you had a blood test? Or not? Uh, well, when they're full enough, I'll so I put them in the race. He's definitely driving quite aggressively at the moment, Andy. Um, your thoughts on this race? Yeah, no, he's a really good horse, Raw for Osco. Um, not quite as arrogant as Renita is on it on him, though, but um, <laughs> no. Um, you, she showed That's last... It's already got a spot, okay? It's fine. <laughs> you know, uh, last season, I think, was the Vic Red semi-final. Um, she didn't hesitate putting him in the race, even though he didn't win. It was a terrific run um, in that. So uh, he, he's a horse that can make his own luck. I th just think... Um, sort of looking at the horses that have raced in 1,200 metre races and some of them have sort of kicked on and maybe made them a little bit better. Cobber been one. I reckon Catch a Wave, it didn't hurt him. Even Hurricane Harley. So maybe the 1,200 metre race is a great training tool going forward. And, um, yeah, it's not a lot of depth in the race and main danger's drawn barrier eight in Sly Terror, unfortunately, again. So, um, yeah, I think he's good enough to win the race. And, yeah, good luck, Juanita, and good luck. Hopefully you get a slide in the Eureka. So, Andy, you, you, you've got to get off the inside, and what are you going to do then? Tell Kate to just stalk Juanita wherever she goes. Go back and then say, like, yell at Juanita and go, get going and try and get a card in? Well, probably. That's the only option. He's following out one that hasn't got a lot of gate speed. So, um, yeah, we stayed on the fence last week. Didn't work for us very well. No. Rides Easy Feed is also a sponsor. They stand as a proud supporter of the harness racing industry with their set recipes. They don't stuff around with the recipes, they're set. And quality ingredients. 
Not bad ingredients, quality ingredients. Give the trainer confidence in what they're feeding. So make the switch to pride and start getting the result you've been chasing. Final of the burning questions before we get to our best bets. Will her rivals seek to post in Cypher one more time? And even if they do, is she above them at her prime? Andrew Patrick Gatherino. I think the only one that will post her is Petalante. Um, Beast Life tried last time and it didn't work for her. So uh, she's six from six over the short in Cypher. She's a quality mare. Um, she knows how to win. She just sort of got there last start. But, um, yeah, I think she'll still be too good for him. She's got too much class for him. And even if she's sitting outside him, I think she'll get the job done again. I tend to agree, Juanita. Are we on the same page? I I think sometimes in Cypher is a kind of horse that doesn't win by far and people don't know how good she is. But she always, pretty much always seems to win, doesn't she? No, she keeps getting the job done. Does she do? Like, no one's willing to say just win. I mean, I mean, that's my job to say that kind of stuff, and then they don't win. But my last two best bets have got the job done, by the way. Um, does she just win one either or not? I think she will win. Um, I, I just think she'll be a little bit too good for You're getting more and more arrogant, not even about your own horses now. This is unbelievable. Um, jokes. jokes. Uh, what do you reckon, Snooze? Can she get beat? Uh, it's going to be tough for the rest of it. Um, you know, probably nothing that's going to hold her out. She, she finds the front at some stage, so she's going to be very hard to beat in time. Where do you end up with Heavenly Charm? Uh, I'd like to be on the side of back, but I'm not, she's not thrilled and out of the gate. Yeah, that'll be, that'll be a great spot to bet. We'll get some out of there. I'll tell you one thing. I wish it was a bit heavenly charm versus the beach life because you always get it home. I just want a one to one between the two of them. I couldn't believe beach life posted it in the cycle like that. Is she right still? Yeah, no, she had only the next day. But heavenly charms are better than the two horses. Right. Best bets, please. Why don't you? Are you just going to give us raw for Roscoe? Or, are you, or are, you, are you trying to protect yourself there and you're going to go with somebody else's horse? <laughs> I didn't actually have a best bet. Well, you're going to need to – I'm going to give you one minute. You better find one. Uh, <laughs> Snoozer, what's yours? Uh, I'm going to say RP Phoenix. So we can get the cash and book a trip to anybody. I don't know about typical one dollar thirty-five chance is your best bet, and is it anyway? That's okay. Uh, at least it might mean the multis get up this week because I'm the only one who's carrying the can at the moment. Since we started these tab specials. I've gone two for two, and everyone, no one else can get near it. Juanita, we're back to you before Andy. Just give us a rule for Roscoe's your best. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, you can have rule for Roscoe's my best. If, if I was having a bet, I'd probably back Cobb in the place. Cobb in the place? Don't mind that. Mm. We, can, we, we, we can formulate that in a tab multi. Uh, Andy, I'm, I'm going with inside for the win. It's not quite a dollar thirty-five; it's a dollar fifty-five. But I'm just trying to keep my unbeaten record over the last few weeks going. I can see you already. You're sort of chewing on your own mouth. You've got that little glint in your eye. Your eyebrows are a bit funny at the moment. You're going to give us something weird. I can feel the weirdness inside you right now. What? What weird? What weird off-Broadway left-field option are you giving us? No, it's not off-field or off-Broadway or anything. Um, totally, it's not off the field. Chris Lang left me let me down last week and it let myself down two weeks ago. So I put all the pressure back on Snooze and Aldo Baron Miley is my best bet. Well, uh, quickly, Snooze, what do you do at the start there? Uh, I'll try and roll forward. She's not, not real quick out, but if I can get up the front, it will be pretty good for her. I'm telling you now, this bloke has got his testosterone levels are off the charts at the moment. I reckon, I reckon two years ago, Snooze is going back like this. <laughs> he's cruising back. But now, he's a different man, Andy, I reckon. Oh, that's it. He's going to have to change his nickname. To what? I don't know. <laughs> Testosterone. Spinozio. Um, well done to all of you. Very much appreciate your time. You're in Gisborne at the moment, are you, Andy? You've got some beautiful trees behind you. No, I'm back East Marsh. I didn't have time to go there, so I... Um... 
I bought it my trip to Gisborne for this. You always try and make me feel bad, and I am somebody who does feel bad. I feel a lot of shame and guilt in my life. Um, Juanita, well done for getting the hot spot going. What, what room of the house are you in at the moment, by the way, before we say goodbye? I'm in the study. This is where you do your hardcore form when you win Royal Ferrosco and you go to race, and you know exactly what to do. <laughs> it's, it's where I thought the internet might work. <laughs> Now, tell, quickly before I let you go, does Pogasol, how often do you get Pogasol on the phone to talk about Raw for Roscoe? Or is he a good owner that doesn't ask him your questions? Um, no, they, they don't tend to ask a lot of questions, but, yeah, they, they really enjoy the horse, all of them, so. And, you know, a lot of um, Pogas extended family as well, so that's really good to see. He's moved into the back room, basically, as well as from that. He's, he's, he actually lives in the house, so he can see the horse every day. And Snooze, anything else before we say sayonara? In terms of other runners that are going around, where, what will you be doing with Ottawa County? How many, how many are you taking to Queensland? Um, one, Darcy, thank It's the only one? At this stage. And have you already booked your room? Have you made sure that all the facilities are there for the daughter to to make sure she's all right? She's coming, they're coming with you, aren't they? Yeah, they're going to come. We'll, we'll, we'll make, work something out. You better get a hire car because they're going to stay in the hotel and you'll obviously just need a car that you hire up there. That's that's what I'm ready. Well done to all involved. That's been burning questions. Hopefully we found you some winners and I reckon we might actually get this tab special up for the first time in the three weeks since it's been going. Well done, Andy. Well done, Smooth. And a big thank you to you, one. Eda. Thanks very much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Au revoir. Thank you. I think we're going to win. Hopefully we will. That's been burning questions. Enjoy. Enjoy.